God's plan has no end. It is life in the house of many mansions. Behold, now the marvelous plan taking place among the children of light. A divine plan has been issued to balance earths in man's violation of the cosmic law of love and light. This plan has been issued to negate man's violation and destruction of his atmos atmosphere and his radiation fields, especially through his misuse of atomic energy. He has also caused destruction to many biological kingdoms on his planetary life station known as planet Earth. Man has shown that he has lost control of his planet by virtue of the danger he not only presents to himself but to the surrounding planetary environments by his pursuit of atomic energy for destructive use. In addition, the councils that govern our planetary field have also observed man's desire to, expand, to extend his planetary society to other planetary regions without spiritual understanding and still using a technology of death. These councils include the councils of nine, which govern our local universe, the council of twelve, which governs our programs of creation for our local universe and surrounding universes, and the council of 144, which is the overseer of the spiritual hierarchies, universes comp comprising our father universe. There is presently occurring a space-time overlap with the higher evolution as the Earth's solar system enters an electromagnetic null zone, a vacuum area in space which will change the magnetic forces of creation. The change of the electromagnetic density in the Earth's atmosphere will activate some species to become more violent and other species more Christ-like as man is pulled either into an upward spiral of light or negative, negative or negated by the breakdown of the old electromagnetic frequency. This will bring about a complete reorganization of the Earth's life system as the human creation begins to operate with a new magnetic and electromagnetic creative power. Presently, there is also a galactic war and house cleaning that is being completed throughout the universe, which will advance some forms of population 1 intelligence to population 2 star regions and recycle those forms of population 2 intelligence, which have used their knowledge to create aberrations in the heavens. And after the completion of the program, historically known as the Israel, known as Israel, which means in the original Hebrew scrolls, the consciousness of light, which contends with the higher mind, until the victory, until victory, there will be a consciousness reprogramming of mankind on this planet and the region originally identified with Atlantis. The program Israel is one with many, one of many within the infinite way, which intersects with the many different levels of intelligence. At the accumulation of the Father's plan for Israel, a new program victory will signal the gathering of the tribes of the spiritual Israel. The twelve consciousness dimensions of spiritual man will receive their central reprogramming in the original land of the ancient days. This is the sacred land of the West, which is the region of the original grids used by the masters of Yahweh, 3400 MYR. Upon the grid of crystallization will be created as the cycles of the East and the West combine to receive the living light of the Christ re of the Christ reigning upon the planet through the Brotherhood of Light. Thus, this program Israel will become the new plan of victory, which will allow the intelligence of the planet to freely move upon other planets and, at the same time, invite other planetary intelligence to commune with this planet. Before the new story of creation happens, the Earth will go through. Gross will go through gross geomagnetic and catastrophic changes of the magnetic regions of the North and South Pole, release their torque, spinning the shell of the Earth into the new program of existence. During the completion of the crystals of star progression, our entire solar system will, will enter into a vacuum in space where no electromagnetic fields exist. This is called an electromagnetic null zone. At that time, cosmic waves will enter the polar areas of our Earth and penetrate to the very core of the, our globe. These waves will not only release 48.6 times 10 to the 15th ton miles of torque on the Earth, but will trigger unseen wave properties from the core of the Earth, placing catastrophic stress on the shell of the Earth and spinning the mantle of the Earth. The world shall fulfill the cycle of the rounds prophesied as the as she enters into a new meridian of time, 
the coming together of hidden scientific prophecy of the nine oracles will confirm the changing of the polar regions. After this purification, the potential omega is set within new spherical surface harmonies, and the wonderful recreation of the world is allowed to proceed into a new cycle of husbandry. There is now occurring the fulfillment of ancient spiritual and scientific prophecy through the 64 keys of Enoch, the revelation breaking the seven seals of the book of Revelation, as well as explaining how the brotherhoods of light will work with members of the human race who can accept the promise of new life in the myriad other universes. The key of Enoch shows how all levels of scientific uh, of science from biophysical to the astrophysical foundations will take a quantum leap in recognizing the superior intelligences serving the brotherhoods who serve the infinite mind. We are now witnessing the coming together of scientific evolution and consciousness as both unite into the consciousness of the living light, the energy used by the infinite mind and the infinite creation and the infinite species. The living light will be understood in the code I am that I am, Ia, Asher Ia. As the consciousness of light of one star creation is attached to the I am consciousness of the higher evolution, forming the I am that I am, for behold, the field of white and the field is white and ready for harvest when you give your life into the harvesting of the planetary station, a greater ionization becomes your body, and your new body of light is connected with the galactic threshold of the house of many mansions which is the deliverance of all manner of flesh. In this unification of I am that I, I am to I am, the higher evolution through the spiritual hierarchies begins new evolutionary cycles, and at the end of the cycle the collective Messiah Moses, Jesus, and Elijah, as the Paradise Trinity of Christ will return with Uriel, the creator of the inner light, Metatron, the creator of outer light, and Michael, the creator of local galactic universe, as a demonstration of the return of the reprogrammers of the Father's will in gathering the remaining the remaining righteous on this earth who will be graduated to go on to other light life worlds. And we will occur after the wars between the sons of light versus the sons of darkness that a new age will occur for all mankind surviving the great changes among all of the vicissitudes on this planet. Those, however, who will not choose to be chosen in taking the higher spiral of light instead of the instead of the lower spiral of decay and entropy will not receive final destruction, but will return to the beginnings of the metamatter and primi primival earth. This will begin the next cycle of recreation as the righteous are advanced to the next ordering of evolution within the next consciousness time cell as co-citizens and co-participants in the myriads of dimensions of the universal mind of Yahweh behind all creator gods. And it will come to pass that when the Lords of Light connect this living world with the next order of evolution, the body will the body of man will go through the pyramidal the pyramid of flesh and crystal and be transfigured into the next pyramid of light, eventually going beyond numerous galactic divisions, for all things are connected with the Father's cosmic pyramid, which integrates all central control all administrative works behind all macro macrochisms. The key then tells us that God's plan has no end. It is the life of light in the house of many mansions in Paradise Suns universes. And ultimately, the life of light in the many father universes to the master who faithfully serves the father in the lower dust world creations is given the opportunity to acquire the nature of being self-begotten, self-sustained, and self-creating in the name of Yahweh. And as the Master progresses into the worlds of light, he moves from the ability of having only one embodiment of light on the edge of his local universe to the ability to indwell in nine bodies by creating, by being created within the center of his universe. Thus the Master becomes a Lord of Light and serves equally all nine time cells of consciousness in this local universe of Michael. In this galaxy, the highest totality of life possibly is the simultaneously occupied three body vehicles in as many as nine time cells. The keys of Enoch are fulfilled through the hierarchy of Paradise Sons who operate in these nine bodies of light consciousness. Through their efforts, the office of Christ, God's righteous inheritance, 
the kingdoms of light. Death will death is swallowed up in the victory of the Hosanna is heard on all lips. Celia. This key which Master Enoch gave to me speaks of universes within universes which have no end, universes which are part of many different mansion worlds of light, each with their unique electromagnetic spectrum. Selected star systems are permitted changes in their pre-stellar and epistellar controls, allowing for connections with double and multiple star patterns from other mansion worlds. This enables the lower heavens to be recharged in the light of advanced intelligence to evolve from one sun system to multiple sun systems of both the physical sun systems of given universe and spiritual sun systems of the house of many mansions we know through the higher teachings of science that there are regions in the center of our galaxy which have microns of light emanation as high as a hundred micron units and we know there are brilliant star fields such as the region of W3 in our local universe which are part of central central configuration of north south east west central celestial gates of the throne of our local universe these are regions of population 2 star systems burning with the energy of millions and millions of suns and it must be understood that population 2 star systems which have 0 0.02 micron emissions are sent uh Sun, sun mostly uh, with inner testing zones of the, the throne which govern tests of uh, 100, 100 uh, trillion star 100 trillion stars in the visible spectrum of our mansion world systems. Enoch told me that the power of the population 2 star systems can create a whole variety of species forms by double helio coupled inter penetration from one network center of population two star systems to coexisting quanta deck of worlds having the potential for all times lengths masses and energies for unity between the mansion worlds movement into pure godness transcends the biochemical boundary identity of each planetary Maserat. the Maserat allows for the development of new species containing 12 biochemical meridians once this is complete, as a species form will go beyond the the series of connections into a new network containing supergalactic clusters known as the Mazaloth. Known as the Mazaloth, Enoch told me that the next local Mazaloth begins at 1.5 to 2 million light years from here. The Council of Intelligence, during the present galactic program called uh, AD 33 through 45, have stations in the regions of 3C123, 3C263, 3C273, M87, Centrinus X3, Hercules X1, and other regions, some of which are unfolding different light part patterns, which are, are just becoming known as tremendous neutron masses. The positive and negative masses of a neutron star contains multiple and different gravity fields, which is the key to the tremendous light. This is being revealed to the Earth radio physicists because of the 73 sources of higher light generation 12 cannot be identified as conforming to commonly measure light radio emissions. The 12 conform to the conform to what Earthman classifies as a new visible spectrum of radio stars, all of which appear to be working with maximum emissions of the 100 micron region. The question is how can star clusters appear to have light working with 100 microns when the population one common star creates light working with the maximum of 50 microns where is their source of light the source is from higher power of creation who have found ways of star coupling which allow millions of star fields to shoot out of a greater dimension of light these stars can place a an invisible shell around their energy source so as to preserve the light emissions which allow them to spawn new energy systems. Enoch said the greatest fields of star creation in our universe which can spawn new energy systems are the collective energy fields of Orion. In these fields there are light sources which from fields of triangular star definition which we cannot classify for they are beyond all forms of spectrum classification that man uses. These triangular star definitions contain sufficient brilliant light sources necessary to evolve the amino acids into the basic life structure 
of thinking intelligence. The triangular coordinates are part of the most sacred area of Orion, known as Eyxic. The three stars in the belt of Orion form the central grid, which is used by the Lords of Light in Orion as a star focal point for the creation of new galaxies. It was also revealed that the region of Sagittarius has tremendous energy projections which trail out to the edge of our galaxy like arrows of light working with speeds going faster than our sun's light. By matching color spectrums, however, the Hubble redshift is not necessary for intelligence to appear on the quantum deck of some other world. Through the expression, 49 transitional states of consciousness are used to teach man how his consciousness options can be integrated with other consciousness time zones in space-time project uh, production by boundary identity of exact opposites the infusion of a quantum state in the fusion of fragments back in the quantum mass can be generated into new perception quantum and man into new operational entity <laughs> Enoch told me that a blue white solar spectrum will be placed over our solar system by the brotherhood of light as so as to prevent our sun from going through star collapse while the species is reprogrammed to go from third dimensional field of crystal to a fifth dimensional field of crystal as part of the plan of the higher evolution at that time some spiritual beings who have been transfigured by the higher light will go on will go into the next threshold of being and become multidimensional intelligence do give ear to this and know that god's light scatters the sun's mass as the magnetic bonds of the constellations are loosened know the know the know the lightnings sent to the extremities of the earth as a seal of you who love god he will set his statues of counsel of the heavens before earth. Man will see that the boundary lines of intelligence are not defined according to our sun systems. Instead, the boundary lines of intelligence bring their own star energies with them to blossom anew wherever the star seed is passed. In the overall creation, soul advancement can proceed to the new star universes, blossoming anew only in the soul of cultivated the energy to go on. The insufficient psyche without soul development, however, is not just destroyed, but is also dropped, fallen into a vast ocean of light, is returned to new primeval aeons, where the more painful task of metamaterial creation must begin anew in its own way. Enoch explained that God's plan has no end, even throughout the local universe of universe life continues to recreate itself man is doomed to perfection and when you realize this you will understand why the father's house of many mansions why the father father's house has many mansions amen